The key can, can it come out? <laughs> Terrible accident. I mean, very terrible accident, believe me, terrible accident. In fact, I call it the day I died. Yeah, I call it the day I died because I believe that on that day, I, I actually died in that accident and I woke up. I believe I died and God just gave me a second chance and I came back because the car actually, <coughs> my car actually somersaulted a couple of times, but I know that um, when it, when it turned, you know, when it turned upside down, the first hit, that first hit upside down, I felt the pain, I felt the pain in my head. And, you know, I was just knocked out. Now, <clears throat> before, uh, before I was knocked out, the moment I felt that pain as uh, the car turned upside down and it hit the ground the first time, I felt that pain on my head and my neck. And I, I heard, I heard a voice. First of all, before the voice, my life was flashed before me. And everything happened, like all my achievements in life were flashed before me. And, you know, it happened like in a split second. Everything was just flashed before me. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, it ended with a picture of my daughter. And that was the last picture I saw, a picture of my daughter. That was it, the picture I had taken of her. Uh, the night before um, I took off from Lagos, that picture. <sighs> after I saw that picture, you know, it flashed before me. After all the images flashed, the, the picture of my daughter you saw now, that was the last picture I saw. And then I heard a little voice. I heard, uh, you know, a very tiny voice. The voice said to me, Yule, it's over. If there's something you wanted to do, sorry, you can't do it anymore. That was what I heard. The voice said, Yule, it's over. If there's something you want to do, I'm sorry, you can't do it anymore. And then I just, I just passed out. That was it. And this, this thing happened the moment the car flipped the first time. You know, I had that pain. The picture just flashed in my head. People always say that just before you die, that your life is going to flash, but it will be flashed before you. And you see everything like something that was compressed in a SIM card. You know, that was what I saw. And then I heard this voice. And then blackouts. Like, I felt my, my, uh, <clears throat> As if my spirit left my body, I wasn't feeling anything anymore. I knew the car was turning, but I wasn't feeling anything anymore. After that first hit, everything just went blank. I wasn't feeling any, anything. And then the next time I, I woke up, the car had already finished turning and it was just there. It had plunged into that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, gutter, that big gutter. It just plunged into it. That was when I woke up and, <coughs> excuse me, it was as if, <coughs> excuse me, it was as if life just came back to my body from my legs. Life just came back to my body, you know, from legs up and to my head and I just woke up, you know, and I realized, oh my God, this accident is, it's all over. My, the windscreen was broken, um, 
windscreen was broken and, and, you know, smoke was just coming out from the car, dust, everything. I was confused. And then I, <laughs> I managed to climb out from the front, the front of the car. You know, the windscreen was broken. I climbed out from the front and came out. And I actually thought I was, I thought I was dead. <clears throat> I actually thought I was dead because, uh, this thing happened on my way from Lagos. I left Lagos. I was driving to Asaba. So it happened, it happened, um, uh, along somewhere around Ore, just before I got to Ore. I was doing maybe 120 or 140, you know, and then the car just lost control. I don't know what happened. Car started. Uh, I was holding the steering, steering wheel. I saw the car going this way. And then <clears throat> I tried to, I tried to turn it back and keep it straight. And then the car started heading this way, hits, hits that, uh, center, I think that device, the road, the Corvette or something hit there. And then the car just started, uh, flipping up, somersaulting. And that was it. <coughs> now, by the time I came out, <coughs> excuse me, by the time I came out and I came out of the car, I was just standing, looking at the car, wondering what just happened and thanking God that I survived. I saw um, <coughs> some people were just coming out from the bush, you know, rushing towards the car. I saw two people, they were rushing towards the car, but they didn't notice me. They ignored me, and they were just rushing to the car, looking into the car and shouting, ah, maybe the person is dead, or who drove this car? But they just ran past me. So I was like, wow, these guys didn't see me. They didn't notice this is me. <laughs> that means it's it's possible that I'm dead, maybe. Maybe my body is still inside the car. And then it was my spirit that came out. So I got quite curious. I now went, I started looking, looking inside the car to see if I'll see uh, my body. I broke the, 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 the side of the glass, the uh, uh, driver's side. I broke it. I looked inside. I was sure um, there was no body there. I didn't see my body. So that was when I realized that that was me. And then other people started coming, noticing me. Then... <coughs> A guy was driving past, stopped, he noticed me, and then he helped me pick up my stuff from the car and took me uh, down to the east where I finally went to the hospital. But it was a, it was, it was a nasty experience. I, I called that day the day I died because when that first hit happened, I actually passed out. I was knocked out. I feel... You know, with the pictures I saw that flashed before me, pictures of my life ended with my daughter's picture, and then the little voice that told me, Yule, it's over. If there's anything you wanted to do, you can't do it anymore. With those things that happened, I feel I just, I feel I, I feel I died on that day. And, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, God, God just gave me a second chance and say, you'll come back to this world and, you know. And that's it. That was how I got back. And if you noticed in the video, um, I was wearing, I had my rosary, I had my rosary on my neck. That was a black one. And, uh, in this, there's something like this, you know, that's it. I always wear this. I believe in God, I believe in God so much. You know, we're all sinners though, at the end of the day, but I don't, I don't joke with my God. I believe in God so much. So I always wear my rosary always um <clears throat> in that video when i had that accident i had a rosary on i had a black rosary on on my neck if you watch that video you see it and i came out without any major major injuries just scratches on my hand but it was a terrible accident you know and thank god i'm here today i keep giving god all the glory it's my story I'll tell you guys more of it later. Just thank God for me. Thank God that I'm still alive.